How to feel your oats to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Nelson here. And our expression, our idiom today is feel your oats. Feel your oats actually comes from horses eating oats. A writer in the earliest, earliest, early 19th century discovered that when he fed his horse oats, it got all energetic and happy and excited and would, you know, perform better than he, before he had fed it. It's oats. It's wild oats because oats were gathered in the wild. They were also grown, but gathered in the wild back then. So when the horse got to eat oats, spry, energized, excited, and and more active than when it hadn't eaten its oats. He applied this to older people, describing them as feeling their oats or feeling your oats when they feel more energized, more excited, more um, act in a proud way or to um, be in high spirits, be highly, you know, in high spirits, like a horse would be in high spirits. So this idiom transferred to people. It's been popular. I, I would say I've definitely heard this expression before. Not sure I've ever said, oh, are you feeling your oats or feeling your wild oats? No, I don't think I've ever asked anyone that with the exception of this video today. Uh, to feel your oats, what do you do? What are some ways, especially during COVID-19 and the pandemic, what are ways that you, and when you're energized, the people that you work with, the people that you work for become more energized as well. What are some ways that you can do that? Well, you could take a nap. You can eat a snack. You can have a caffeinated beverage. I'm big on the caffeinated beverage thing, especially early afternoon. You might feel your oats when you do something that helps other people or helps your clients or helps a customer or if you get a good testimonial or if you land a big fish or a big client or a big customer or a big account for your business you might feel really excited and energized maybe you participate in a hobby that you enjoy maybe you take up a new sport maybe you take up a new activity or you start just a good habit or a good practice maybe you start a morning routine and you've never had one before <coughs> inhaled wrong excuse me <coughs> breathing is required and that helps you to feel more energized more energetic more positive toward what you're working on and what you're doing and when you're moving toward the future anytime we have a positive experience at least in my experience it seems that that gets us more energized and excited to move forward we have a negative experience or a challenge that tends to bring us down and slow us down now sometimes we need to be slowed down right but some tends to slow us down and we feel like we're not moving in the right direction toward what we want. And so we want to find ways when we're feeling challenged to go ahead and feel happier, feel better, feel more excited and get ourselves excited about what we want for our future. Um, if we help to, now how can you do this in your business? Well, number one, make sure that you're energized, make sure that you've got a vision and a goal that you're sharing with everyone in your organization, both your, you know, your team members, your partners, your people that you're in business with, but also your customers. Make sure that you are having a battle cry or a motto or something that they can get behind or a cause that they know that you're fighting for them for. You're, you're championing them and being on their side to overcome some challenge or some problem. Uh, anytime we have an increase in our confidence, we tend to feel our oats. We tend to feel like we are moving in the right direction. Have you ever gotten a job, a promotion? Again, any positive experience tends to make us feel better, increases our energy. When we feel better, we have more energy, right? It's, it's a direct correlation to feel good, more energy, feel bad, less energy. If you don't believe me, just test it out for yourself. Think about something that makes you feel bad and see what it does to your body language or see how it makes you feel and see how much energy you have. If I'm feeling bad, you think I can hop online here and talk to y'all and, and be excited about an idiom much less anything else in my business absolutely positively not so what do i do i think about all of the pot and i do this automatically every day i think about every idiom and how it can be turned and finessed in a positive way to help me get excited about it to to positively impact and grow and supersize my business if i were to look at the idioms and say ah there's no way that you know feeling your oats has anything to do with business it's not possible why would i waste my time and energy trying to think of a positive way to look at this expression. Well, we get a very different result, right? So today, feel your oats. Find the things that, that excite you, that give you energy, that make you happy to be alive. Because guess what? 
if you're alive, there's something to be happy about, right? There's something in each and every one of our lives to be happy about. We carved pumpkins last night. I mean, that's so funny and so silly and, and so like being a child, but it was fun and energizing and it helped me to feel my oats before, before I went to bed. So have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize the business and create the life that you want? Have an awesome day.